<laughs> Very good. Right, what do we got going on here? Engineer BN Train 104, the scenic subdivision dispatcher. Our helper is set is tied on and we're ready to make our pull eastbound. You can begin your pull but anticipate a stop at Skykomish passing siding east to meet a westbound grain extra, lead unit BN6829. After he is clear and subject to signal indication, you may proceed eastbound. So we're going past the yellow dwarf signal, which gives us confirmation the next signal will be red. Hey Dean, uh, I've driven it once or twice, you can find the videos on YouTube, details over there. Um, but uh, yes, I will be driving it again, absolutely. Hey, killed by Ebola. Welcome to the channel this evening. No idea, Jake, as before. If nothing's been announced, I can't talk about it anyway. So we've actually got a stop at timed instruction there. So we need to make sure we stop there. Waiting here for a train, it looks like it's coming in. I can see something coming in the distance.
All right, thanks, God Prophet. I will uh, pass it on to them. Wow, 450,000, that's pretty impressive, Coplopper. Well done. So, just to remind, this scenario is Skycomish Cows on Stevens Pass. It's from Steam Workshop and it's been uploaded by El Faba. Hey man, ex northerner, Sir Carlos, hockey player, welcome back this evening. That's always good, Coplopper, that's always good. Yeah, that is very cool, Coplapper. It's unusual as well, because I don't think uh, there's many that actually get that kind of uh, following behind them. But uh... Welcome back, Elite. Okay, we've got the green. Cheers, JM1260. Thanks for joining us this evening. Yeah, it is. It's it's one of those things I found is that it's it does take uploading regularly and building a following. Um, it's um, and and you just got to keep at it, like you said. Uh, it sounds like you've been at it for uh, three or more years. So uh, well done for that, actually. Well done. a bit of a mixed collection of this hill.
Good evening, QWERTY Afro. Good to have you with us on the channel this evening. Running the last scenario at the moment. We are running Stephen Spars, Burlington Northern F45. And uh, scenario of course Sky Comish Cowls. Yeah, this is a very odd attitude, a uh, couple of them out, quite short-sighted. My wife did E-Man, assuming you're meaning the actual Super Bowl. She's from Boston, so, or from Massachusetts anyway. So, uh, she was rooting for the Patriots. These are the players. Oh no, I didn't watch that email. No. <laughs> Cheers Jake, we'll speak to you later, hope to see you again. Speed limit. Slow down.
got a trestle bridge over here. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, yeah, lovely. Go on this side of it. That way we can see it curving around the bridge. Hey, your team assassin. Thanks for joining us this evening. Dean, uh, yes to both questions. Uh, it was Class 150 on the Riviera line and it was a download called Semi Fast to Exeter V2. Hey Mickey. 400 followers, yeah, that'll be cool. Where are we at right now? 309 on YouTube. <clears throat> There's no trying about it, Tasek. You just gotta do it. I must admit, I found it easier to go with Twitch first because you don't have to worry about doing any editing. You, you, you're, you just fire it up and get on with it. Um, whereas if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I've got to edit it, you do one and then you, you sort of get run away from it all. So I would start, probably, I personally, I would start with Twitch. Um, and, and then we'll do what I do, which is to then just upload the, speed, the Twitch streams, uh, cut the highlights and put them on, uh, uh, cut, put them on YouTube. That way they're available and you start getting stuff on YouTube and then you can start putting actually created stuff um, onto um, onto YouTube once you've got a bit more confidence and you're, you're into doing it. The key thing with something like YouTube or Twitch is just to keep doing it, be regular. Give people some way of expecting what you're doing so that uh, they'll, keep coming, uh, they'll keep coming back. I mean, yeah, when you stream on Twitch, it's, it's it's easier to put the whole thing up. However, I think if you can... Um, oh, did I forget to change the background? I did forget to change the background, unfortunately. I don't have... Let's go back to the SD-80. Boom. Um, whereas I think if you do a proper choreographed video, uh, where you've, you know, effectively you've produced it, then I think that the end result, with a lot more work than Twitch, is, um, is going to be better. Um, so Twitch, you've got the sort of the stress, if you want to call it that, of being real time and and doing it there and then. Um, whereas uh, YouTube, you've got the uh, stress and the hard work of uh, putting it through the editor. So it's really pick your poison, really. There's there's pros and cons to each way of doing it. Work out which one is the easiest for you, um, and then uh, just keep doing it. You've just got to keep trying, keep going for it. By the end of the month, by the end of February, we should have well past 400. I'll be really surprised if we haven't got anywhere near there. We should be on our way to 500 by then.
that's really good. Uh, couple of a, I guess having a, a nice user base like you've got on um, YouTube really helps. Tree Valley. Welcome back, E-Man. I know one a while back I put a video up onto it was one of the first videos that went up onto the channel that now hosts um, the YouTube for this. Um, it was a, a model, just a very simple video I recorded from uh, my son's model railway. I'd written some software which um, allows you to control it using your voice, so you can talk to it. Um, and um, that video went absolutely crazy. I had like twenty-five thousand views of it ridiculous and then I did another one I did one and one for my dad on his uh, his his channel uh, I recorded some stuff on his model railway uploaded quite a few videos seven or eight then um, and most of them gets have, have so far they've got seven or eight thousand views um, but this one has got something like a hundred and fifty thousand views and they were all uploaded the same they're all basically showing content from a model railway it's just that this one is modern trains that's the only thing I can think of is why that one's got such an incredibly high um, view account on it. Yes, E-Man, definitely. Do tell. the green light good we like green lights Welcome back, Speedy. Four miles to scenic passing siding.
Cheers, Northerner. Thanks for joining us this evening. Fire away, Dave. What's on the rear? A couple more. Cows on the front, cows on the rear. Welcome back, Sergeant Salt and Abel Xenophon. Good to have you with us again this evening. Scenic subdivision dispatch to train 104. You'll be meeting train 103, lead unit BN6604 at Scenic and stopping to cut off the helper set. Bring your head into a stop at Scenic Passing, scenic passing Siding East. Dispatcher out. But my hauling, it's a bit of a mixed bag. So we've got some logs up front and some containers and boxcars here, tankers, more boxcars, centre beams, more boxcars, more tankers, uh, more boxcars, more tankers, and boxcars. No, they're not boxcars, they're guns. Uh, and are they centre beams or just wood pallets, uh, flat cars? My knowledge of American cars isn't very good. I'm quite impressed I got as far as I have. Box cars and uh, a caboose. Manifest. See, that's the word I was looking for, wasn't it? One word, and it replaced all of that faff. Thank you. Fringe Stalin. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, the show this evening. Good to have you with us again. Do I nickname type of trains? Now, the, all the UK trains have got nicknames like Duff and Growler and Chopper and Dyson, Goyle, Gronk. <laughs> Go on for hours. Peak, Duff, Deltic, Hoover. Yes, Copplopper. Um, all of my um, every single so what happens is I highlight so, if I, so tonight I've done four drives that will go up as four separate YouTube videos onto YouTube uh, the address is over there yep that's how I'm doing it Copplopper I don't particularly like the highlight tool it's a bit of a pain in the neck but uh, it does the job and the uh, the ease of uploading to YouTube through Twitch is uh, definitely worth. Why would you say flipping steam train, you man? Why would you say that? That's 
Awesome! Yeah, I'll give you that cop block, it's basically just slow. <laughs> Two point two miles to uh, scenic passing siding west. Presumably, we'll be stopping at east. Yep, and that's the end of the scenario. Even though this is basically white, I do quite like the different colours. It sort of almost looks like it's that you can almost feel the. Um, the frost glistening with the way that the the, um, the, the game is just rendering. <laughs> Cheers Ninja Joker, thanks for joining us this evening. All the frozen quotes. I'm not sure what Copplopper's excuse is. I've got a uh, seven year old daughter. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I would have watched it anyway as many times as I have because I love that film. It's brilliant. Haven't seen it, Fritz Stalin. Oh my word! Hey, Dean. Where are we at now? One mile to over uh, passing siding west.
Take some pictures of the steam trains, E-Man, post them somewhere and then give us some links on the uh, forum so we can see what you're seeing. Well, you know what, Fringe? What it is is that your influence stays with us even when you're not here. We're basically all completely insane now. And it's all your fault. <laughs> hey, hockey player, welcome back. No, I doubt it, Prince Stalin, you're quite right. I couldn't actually work out what it was a couple of them I had posted. I know what he said he'd posted, but to me it just looked like a bunch of stuff. Or was it just meant to be a big pile of snow? Flat snow. There's no need for that, eh, man? Oh yes, indeed, Fred Stalin. I guess people are uh, misusing, abusing water, um, and uh, freezing it so they can make a snowman, and which is obviously a total waste of time, which because it melts straight away. So in that basis, I'd probably ban building snowmen as well, because why? Ah, uh, okay. That makes more sense, Doc. <laughs> One point two miles to our termination point, the end of this siding. Well, I dare say that um, even in the uh, middle of the second hottest desert in the world, they probably still have freezers in their houses.
maybe even ice making machines. Thank you, Speedy. Bit under a mile now. Nearly there, point eight seven. Just place the link in, E man. This is a long old siding. Right, we're coming up to uh, the other end of the siding. That's okay, Fringe. We're all just crazy, and I still think it's down to you. We're not complaining. Crazy is good. The question is, are you crazy fringe or crazy Stalin? Or crazy fringe Stalin, actually. Or fringe crazy Stalin. Easing up to our stopping point. Welcome Alec Braxton to the channel. Good to have you with us this evening. I'm coming up to a red light Alec, so I can't. <laughs> Right, 
I think that's the end of that scenario. Hey, official Dylan23. It's good to have the official Dylan on the channel with us this evening. Make sure that we understand the difference between the official one and the unofficial ones. <laughs> right, folks. I think that is the end of this scenario. Well done. We'll be here for a few minutes while they help us cut off, take a break, and have some pot joe. Scenario complete. Superb. Right, that's the end of tonight's show. Thank you all very much for uh, joining this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. That was four scenarios this evening, and uh, we'll uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 9.30, as usual. Thanks for the follow, Official Dylan. Much appreciated. Um, and uh, until then, stay well, stay safe, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.